Here I have drawn the terminal arm in each of the quadrants with a reference angle of pi by 9. And we have to determine the angle in uh, the quadrants where the angle has a negative cosine value. So from this caste diagram, we know that uh, cosine is negative in quadrant 2 as well as in uh, quadrant 3. So we consider only the angles in these two quadrants and uh, find the corresponding angle. So let's find the actual angle uh, of the terminal arm which lies in this uh, second quadrant first. Uh, so basically we have to determine this angle and this can be found when we subtract the complete angle that is uh, pi minus of the reference angle that is uh, pi by 9. So when we do the subtraction we will get this uh, actual angle which is uh, shown here in blue color. So this is uh, basically equal to I can write down pi as 9 pi over 9 minus uh, pi over 9. So we have the common denominator 9 pi over 9 pi minus pi is uh, 8 pi. So therefore this is uh, 8 pi over 9. So we get this angle in second quadrant equals uh, 8 pi over 9. So we can put this uh, in second quadrant it is uh, 8 pi over 9. Now let's determine the angle in uh, quadrant 3. So basically we have to determine this uh, complete angle. So we start from here and uh, we touch this uh, terminal arm in the quadrant 3. And so this is obtained when we add pi with the reference angle. That is we put pi plus the reference angle pi by 9. And so this gives, uh, I can write pi as uh, 9 pi over 9 plus uh, we have uh, pi over 9. And so we can add these two uh, numerators. 9 pi plus 10, pi is uh, 10 pi and we put the common denominator 9. So this is the actual angle for uh, quadrant uh, 3. So we write down the answer as uh, 10 pi over 9 for quadrant 3. So these are the two angles uh, whose cosine value is negative and uh, we don't have any solution for the other quadrants. So we choose uh, no solution for this quadrant 1 as well as for quadrant 2 there is no solution. And these are the angles for quadrant 2 and quadrant 3.